hey guys welcome back to my channel I know that this is a little bit of a strange start to one of my videos excuse the sight of me i've literally been cooking and cleaning all day but this video that you're about to watch i actually forgot to film an intro for so the next couple of clips that you're about to see are me showing you how i put my rollers in and how i do my pink curls um, to get that kind of soft wave kind of voluminous sort of hair i'm also using my dyson air app in this video so if you are someone who has one and you're looking for a little like a few tips on how to use it or just how i use mine in general um that's also included in the, included in this video so without further ado if you would like to see how i do my pink curls and how i put my rollers in my hair um using my dyson air app then all you've got to do is keep on watching as I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this look using my Dyson Air app, you're going to need a few things first because we are going to be starting on wet hair. So the first thing and the most important thing in my opinion that you're going to need is heat defence. I have literally harped on about this heat defence for so long. I will leave a link to it in the description box. If you've not tried this particular one and you've got super fine hair that just gets weighed down really easily, I would highly recommend this. I think this would actually be good for all hair types, but specifically if you've got fine hair, it just doesn't weigh the hair down and it's a really good product. You'll also need some sort of um, leave-in conditioner. I always use this. This is the Pureology 21 Essentials Benefits Colour Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Spray. So it's just a spray to help um speed up drying time um a bit of heat defense just to help the hair to be a little bit smoother so we can pull those rollers through better and finally um i'm going to be using the give me cosmetics coconut oil and argan hair serum so it doesn't need to be this one this is a really nice one um it just needs to be any hair serum any hair oil just to smooth through the ends just to make sure that the hair is nice and glossy and isn't dry and isn't going to snap off basically really really important when you're going to be using rollers because obviously when you're pulling the roller through your hair you are creating a lot of tension and a lot of friction so if you can put oil in your hair to help it smooth through better it's going to reduce breakage so much so hair oil is really really important and then obviously the most important things that you're going to need are some rollers i have all of mine in here i have two different sizes so i use the bigger size rollers for the top section of my hair and then I use the slightly smaller rollers for the bottom sections of my hair. All of my rollers are from Primark. They were maximum, I think these were two pounds and these were like two pounds as well because you get slightly more of these ones. We're also gonna need some clips to clip the rollers into place. These particular ones are curl clips and these are the ones from Sally's. Um, you get quite a lot in here. And they're just the normal crocodile clip ones and they're really easy to use. I highly recommend these if you are a beginner because they're just easy you just slide them straight in the hair and slide them straight back out start off by using um this comb this is just a section off the top section of my hair so i'm just i have got a mirror here so if i'm looking over here that's what i'm looking at first thing i'm going to do i'm just going to brush through my hair now that i've put all of those products in just to distribute them evenly and then i'm just going to grab the blow dryer attachment on my dyson air wrap and i'm just going to start drying in on the roots of my hair once we've rough dried our hair i'm just going to brush back through it again i haven't completely dried it i want it about 90 percent dry um because that's how i think the curls just last better when the hair is slightly drier so i am just going to brush through it quickly the first section that i'm going to focus on is this top section here i like to do this section first because because this is the section where i want the rollers to be in for the longest because this is where i want the most volume and the most lift front section here straight across and I'm just going to do this with this comb. It doesn't have to be accurate. I'm not very good at sectioning. I'm not very good at hair in general. I've just sort of worked out a way that's easy and works for me. So that's all I'm going to do. Quickly put this into a claw clip like that. And then whilst I've got that off, I am just going to tie back this back section with the scrunchie. Brush it through again. And I'm going to brush it all forward just so I can see where I want the actual sectioning to go. So obviously you want to get as much volume from the back as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to section this front section off into three and I'm going to put it into three sets of rollers. I'm literally just going to part it very, very roughly just to make a small section at the front. And then what I'm going to do with this part here, I'm going to tuck it behind my ear so it's out of the way. And then I'm just going to do a quick brush through with my brush just to make sure it's all smooth and you want to grab your first curling attachment so this particular one is facing this way obviously if you're not using a dyson air wrap um you'll just curl away from your face as normal 
So I'm just going to switch this on and I'm going to dry this first. So obviously it's important to make sure the hair is completely dry before you turn the air wrap off. And what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to hold the cool shut button down um, for this particular hairstyle because I want the heat to stay in the roller and I want the hair to set while it's in the roller. I'm just going to hold it out so I'm just going to turn it on. I've just turned the air wrap off and I'm just going to let this slide straight off. Obviously, be careful because the barrel is quite hot. So I'm just going to gently pull that off. I'm just going to let that hair flop forward and I'm going to pull the hair out and stretch the roller all the way down to the bottom of the hair, making sure that the end is securely on there and just roll the hair up. Make sure you keep this really taut because the tighter you keep it, the better it'll stay in and obviously the longer the better the curls will last so once that's in and then i'm just gonna pull it back and taut on itself i'm just gonna use one of my little crocodile clips and i'm just gonna clip it in and secure it in place so that's the first one done so i'm gonna go ahead and do the next section so again i'm just doing exactly the same thing as i did the first time i'm just gonna brush my hair through and then i'm gonna section off another section of hair just right from the top of my crown so that'll do for that section i'm just going to brush it through again just to make sure that it's nice and smooth and then i'm gonna hold it with my left hand and let this side flop over to the right i'm just gonna turn my hair wrap on i'm just gonna do exactly the same as i just did so once you finish doing that you just want to pull the hair off again grab one of your bigger rollers let the hair fall forward pull down and make sure that it's very that it's nice and taut and that you've got tension roll it all the way up and then just straight into place like that and then again grab another clip and just securing it in place that's what it looks like from the side i'm going to go ahead and finish off this front section i'm going to do this all in one section because i like to have my i like to have my bangs incorporated in the front section because i like them all to fall together rather than having them all separate and this is the, the way that i just find works best for me i roll mine backwards the same as these ones you can roll it forwards if you want extra volume um, but i just prefer mine backwards it just suits me better that's my complete top section done so now that i've finished doing that i am going to focus on the bottom section of my hair so i'm just going to brush all of this out again make sure it's all nice and smooth and it's got no knots in and then i am going to start on the right hand side just because i've got the right hand attachment already on my air wrap what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to start from the back and i'm just going to section it like into two because i haven't got a lot of hair so i don't need to do many sections i'm going to tie that away with my scrunchie just so that it doesn't get caught in to any of the other hair i'll show you the first two and then i'm going to speed through the rest so i am taking quite relatively big sections because i want this to be nice and bouncy and loose i don't want it to be too tight so that's probably about the size section that i'm going to take and then i'm just going to do exactly the same thing um curl it and then put it into one of my slightly smaller rollers so the trick with the ones that, when you're doing the ones at the back have your curl out or the air wrap directly under slide the hair off so you want to put your two fingers inside the roller get it right underneath the root stretch it all the way back and then roll it back on itself so that it's nice and tight and then once you've got it into position you just want to get your clip and just clip it in the same way we've done with the other three so it's nice and on the roller i mean it's not very good because i can't really see what i'm doing but we'll have to do so i'm just going to carry on with the next section i'm going to use this last piece of hair here and split this into two um and then we'll go from there
same as we did with the last curl you, if you've got the if you've got the curler or the air app held upright you just want to turn it so it's flat like that it slid off to the side do the roller from this angle because this is the easiest way i think personally so i'm just gonna stretch it all the way to the end tuck the end under and just roll it back on myself you might have to find like a space for it because the other one obviously is on top so just get it in wherever you can and just clip it in place i'm just going to go ahead and finish the last set this bottom section of my hair and then i'll be back to show you how i do the left side okay guys so now that we've got that whole right section of my hair done we're all pinned up and we're all curled um i'm just going to move on to the left side so i'm going to do it exactly the same as i did just i'm going to split it into two sections and i'm going to start on the back section first I tie this front section away just so that the air wrap doesn't drag any of the hair into any of my other sections and make sure i've got any stray hairs that are at the back brush it through and i'm going to split the first section i'm going to do this section first like i said i am taking quite wide sections so i've switched my um head over now the easiest way to get these curlers into your rollers without having to get all your hands mixed up is just to hold the air wrap or the curler whatever you're using um sideways like this lengthways all the hair straight off the barrel where the hair is sitting like that that's exactly how you want the roller to sit all the way back so till, till it's at the end get it nice and taut on the end so stretch it back out and then just roll it back in on itself and then just clip it straight into place the easiest way i think to do the back section is to just make sure you're holding the hair underneath so that it will just sit exactly how it falls off the barrel and then i'm just gonna pull it through right to the end till it's nice and taut and then give it some more tension and just roll it back So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off this bottom section and then I'll be back once it's all done to show you what I do next. So I have actually run out of rollers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pin curl this next section. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how I do it with the air wrap. So I'm just going to curl this and then I'll come back and show you how I actually pin curl it without taking it off the barrel. So once you've got the hair on the barrel, what I like to do is I like to just swap my hands over, grab a clip and just slide it straight under the air wrap and loose it so as you can see that's clipped it straight on by the way my ring light has just died this video has turned into a disaster so first i run out of rollers and now my my ring light has just blown so, but as i just showed you i just slide the clip onto the barrel just to keep it in place and then all i do is i just go in and just slide it to my head and make sure that it's pinned in so i'm gonna have to do that with the next few sections So that's my last section. So I'm just doing exactly the same as I've done with the last few that I'm having to pin curl. And I'm just sliding it onto the barrel and taking it straight off, keeping it in that nice looped up position. So what I like to do next is I actually take the barrel off the air wrap. And if you don't have an air wrap and you're doing this with a curler, um, you can actually just use your hair dryer. So what I like to do is I like to turn on the heat on the air wrap and I like to just blast my hair with the hot air just to help those curls like reignite the heat and just to like help them lock into place. So that's just what I'm going to do now. And finally, I'll just grab some of my hairspray. This is just the got to be too sexy volumizing hairspray for big sexy styles. I like this because it smells really nice and it brushes out really easily and it doesn't make your hair all sticky. So now it's just a waiting game. So I'm going to leave these in for about 10 to 15 minutes just to let them cool. Obviously, you can keep them in for as long as you like. So what I tend to do is I'll curl and pin curl everything and put all my rollers in and then I'll do my makeup. And then when I finish doing my makeup, I'll take all of my rollers and my curls out 
and then we'll go from there so i'll see you in about 10 minutes so now for the fun bit i'm gonna start taking all these curls out i'm gonna start from the back on this side because i want these ones to stay in the longest i like to just take all of the clips out first because i find that once they're out of the way it's much easier to start unraveling all of the all of the rollers so i'd recommend taking all of the clips out of the rollers first just that just so that they don't get tangled and they don't pull on your hair because i find that they do tend to pull a little bit if they are in the way so i'm just going to start unraveling this right side so see instant volume i'm obsessed like this is just my favorite hairstyle so that's my first two rollers out i'm gonna get this back one here looking good so far so i'll just really slowly unravel the rollers just so that i don't pull on my hair too much i have got very delicate hair so pulling it scares me so i just get my fingers inside the roller and i just like to just gently unroll it So then I'll just have a little feel through and just make sure I haven't got any clips stuck in my hair still. So that's our first side. As you can see, it's very, very voluminous and very bouncy, which is exactly what we wanted. Take out this next side. Show you what this one looks like when I take this one out. And then I've got one there as well. So as you can see, this side is obviously a lot softer and a lot more voluminous because we ran out of rollers this side. But this side is a lot more curlier. So depending on the look that you're going for, um, it just depends on what kind of style you want to do. So if you want something a bit softer and a bit more voluminous, if you've got quite fine hair like I have, I'd go for the roller. But if you want something a bit curlier and something that's just going to last you a little bit longer, then I'd definitely go with a pink curl. Take out these top three now. I'm going to start with the back one. So these sections will obviously be a, a little bit less curlier because they're in much bigger rollers, which is fine because that's what we want. We just want that extra volume right at the root. And you can see that, that it gives that lovely bit of lift, which is what I need because I have very, very fine and flat hair. And so I'll flop this one forward just so you can see how it's got that nice little bend to the end of it. We've got that nice volume right in the root. And then I'm just going to take out this front one. And there we go. So that's all of my rollers and pin curls out. So all you want to do now is just want to play around with it and just get it into a position or like a like a part in that you like and just yeah just play around with it really and just decide how you want it to fall and how you want it to sit so now that i've got it into the position that i want i'm just going to spray it into place so this part here where my bangs have curled in i'm just gonna very lightly spray that just so it stays into place and same with this curl here and these ones here i'm just gonna section the hair and just spray hairspray into it same with this side so I'm just going to lightly spray the front of my bang just to keep it in that position. And then I'm just going to very lightly spray through the hair just to get that volume and just to have it nice and voluminous. So that's it, guys. That's exactly how I achieved this really nice, soft um, blowout effect with my fine hair. Um, it's very difficult to get fine hair to look voluminous without... Um, back combing it or putting too much dry shampoo in it but if you're if you've got if you're lucky enough to have a Dyson air wrap and you can do this from wet hair and putting your rollers in it does give a really really nice voluminous effect and this does last a really really long time as well this obviously will work on any hair type it's just totally dependent on how you want your hair so if you want it a little bit more curlier obviously just go with the pink curl and if you want if you're looking for more volume um, and that sort of nice blowout effect you want to use your rollers or you can use a mixture of the two yeah, i'm really really pleased with how that's turned out guys 
Um, if you've got any questions on any of the products that I've used or any of my techniques, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. We're very close to 500 subscribers now and I will be doing a 500 subscriber giveaway. So keep your eyes peeled for that. All that's left to say is thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.